questions. Which sport is the most difficult to win a medal in? Joining us today are TSN Radio's Matt Cause and two-time Olympic hurler Trudita Felicien. So good to have you guys. What are you thinking as far as the toughest sport to win a medal in? What's tough? The 100 meters. And obviously I'm a little biased because, you know, I'm a child. A little biased? Yeah. Uh, okay, <laughs> I very, think you're very biased. Yeah, extremely biased. biased. But yeah. she's right. <laughs> yes. It's how far yeah. and how hard you can push the human body, right? Yeah. Isn't that what the Olympics are about? What can we do? What are our limitations? And I think Usain Bolt has the moniker of the fastest man in the world. Okay, dream team, NBA, superstars, that's fine. But I think raw athletic power, oh, that's not I agree meters. with you on Bolt on that. He is. But the thing is, is you have a 9.8 whatever second window. Six and let's, three. And six, let's six, nine three. six three. That's what you have. <laughs> we took this a little further. We said, what what is the most difficult sport to compete in? Which I would have said the marathon, but I've competed. I said marathon, but I've competed in seven marathons. So if I can do a marathon, it's it's eliminated what, for me. Two twenty five. Can you beat the ladies? You uh -oh. know what? Two twenty five. Uh, Three twenty eight is my time, yeah, which isn't come bad. Come again. Come but again. I, 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 hold on. <laughs> Triathlon. You got the running, the biking, and the swimming. You got all of it. Okay. Touche. Touche. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's I said the marathon happen. because they always have to have a different course. You never know, especially the London Marathon was not built for speed. It was to see no, all the sights. No, it was built for sightseeing, wasn't it? Exactly. Yeah. Tight uh, corners, tight curves. And you've seen a lot of the women who were ranked high kind of faltering because there was just so much that their body had to, to go through. Yeah, right? That, interesting. That's a great point. I wasn't watching a marathon. I'm going, wow. That's the greatest course ever. Exactly. There's yeah. Buckingham Palace. There's the mall. There's, you uh, know, That'd be Paul's horrible. Cathedral. There's probably a lot of it was probably uphill. There's nothing worse than when you're running in Europe because everything is up. <laughs> you like true. down or just a little downward grade. That's the best And they have them on cobblestone for some time. Yeah. Thing. That's tough. Yeah. That is so tough. Another what? question we yeah. have to get to. Is it better to finish in fourth place or last? To just miss the podium, just miss the bronze, or just finish last altogether? Considering I don't have an Olympic medal, I'll take anything, okay? <laughs> I'll, take, I'll take last. But, but, uh, Dylan Armstrong, mm -hmm. who minished, uh, missed a bronze by one centimeter, centimeter. That's got to hurt. In 2008. Yeah. So, you I mean, would you, do you want to have that in your head for the next four I think years? you would because at least when you're training, you know, I am that close to getting a medal. If you finish in last, I think mentally it's harder to, well, i got to improve. I've just got to beat... Oh, great. 48 other people, you know. Like, I think in the off-season, it's much better if you, you if you can realize that you just have to train maybe a little bit harder to get that medal. So in these, I'm going to guess, I don't know, 5,100 people are finishing ahead of you in the marathon. Okay. Oh, how dare you? Are you going to take I'm that? I'm in, the top, I'm in like the top 20 percentile there, so how dare you? Oh, though? my gosh. Fighting words, Jeff. Fighting words. I'm just saying. But listen, if there's 40.